Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our IST QB AI tester certification. We are in chapter five talking about ML functional performance matrices and continuing ahead and moving on to the last topic of this chapter, which is 5.5 benchmark suites for ML model. This is a very small and quick topic to talk about which exactly is the industry and suites which provides me the benchmark for measuring these matrices because there's of course something which decides what is the optimal limit or optimal threshold for certain parameters what we are looking forward to measure with these matrices a new ai technology such as new data sets algorithm models and hardware are released regularly and it can be difficult to determine the relative efficiency of each new technology. To provide objective comparisons between these different technologies, industry standard ML benchmark suits are available. These cover a wide range of application areas and provide tools to evaluate hardware platforms, software frameworks, and cloud platforms for AI and ML performance. ML benchmark suites can provide various measures including training times, that is how fast a framework can train an ML model using a defined training data set to a specified target quality matrix, such as 75% accuracy, and inference times, which means how fast a trained ML model can perform inference. Now, ML benchmark suites are provided by several different organizations, such as ML Commons. This is non-profit organization performed uh, formed in 2020 and previously named as MLPerf, which is short form of performance, which provides benchmarks for uh, software frameworks, AI specific processor and ML cloud platforms. So you can always find more details about them on their official website. Second is Downbench. The Downbench, this is an ML benchmark suit for Stanford University. And third is MLMark. This is an ML benchmark suite designed to measure the performance and accuracy of embedded inference from the embedded microprocessor benchmark consortium. So put together, there are three standard bodies which are currently recognized as of today, which can provide you specific benchmarking for some of the specific ML models parameters. And you can look forward to review them, refer them and follow them in order to define your benchmarks for the ML model. So put together, this is all what we had in this particular tutorial for you. We'll be looking forward to get started with sample questions in our next tutorial, and we'll talk about what could be the typical way they can ask you a question from here. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.